So lately I've been using this HDRI trick on all of my renders to get better lighting. If you look at real photos with intense sunlight, we see these really bright highlights, sometimes even overexposed, and these really dark shadows because of the dynamic range of real cameras. And just using a environment texture can't give you the surrealistic look of natural bright sunlight. So I have been using this simple technique to fix that. So I'm going to use the scene for example. So set up a new world and change the color to a environment texture. And I'm going to choose this HDRI image. And if you are wondering where to get these images, Polyheaven has like 700 free ones. So this is what the HDRI image looks like by default. And I think the sun doesn't feel as bright as in real life. So let's go to the world settings. And what I like to do in here is add in a math node and put the color output into the first factor and change it from add to power. I usually use a exponent of 0.1. As you can see, the setup makes the sun more powerful while also leaving the shadows where they are. But if you want to change the brightness of everything overall, you can duplicate the math node and change it to add. What's also pretty cool is that if you are using a HDRR like this one that is pretty dark, you can push out some sunlight with this technique. The scene was by the way created with the forest generator, which is a customizable forest that can give you results like the ones you see on screen, with multiple biomes and all kinds of controls. If you are interested in getting it and using it for your own work, check out the links in the descriptions. I also like to use the built-in sky texture in Blender. What I usually do for the settings of the sky texture is setting the strength to 0.1 because the scene is way too bright and increasing the sun intensity to 5. So these are basically the techniques I use to get natural lighting in my scenes. 